On the receiving end, you know, being in like in a band situation, you know, it's sometimes it's a whole different experience on this end than, than what the banjo player is experiencing. And um, what I'm digging about it is the the clarity in the high range and the responsiveness that's coming off of the banjo when he's playing it. You know, there's a lot of a lot of um, a lot of times you don't it's get responsive. that you don't get that response in the high. You know, it's 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 quick. I don't know a better. Way. I wonder if there's a better way to put that. Like I'm just yeah, barely it's, tapping in. It's, yeah, it's um, you know, a lot, a lot of times it gets very muddled and muddy when you get into the high range or some weird overtones and things like that. And it's, it's when he's doing a lot of the single string stuff, we're not getting. It's not getting that. It's uh, it's pretty cool actually. It's it's easy to follow what he's doing, even though he may come up with some new idea, you know, off the cuff. It's easy to see where he's going because it's it's clearer out here on the front side. 